Well, we know just how many foreign players there are in Premier League football these days, but rugby seems to be following the trend. Worcester could field eight players from the Southern Hemisphere in the opening game of the season at Northampton on Sunday. But is life here everything they hope for? Well, this week we've been given exclusive access to one All Black who's got plenty on his plate. A new, long, bruising season is about to begin. Nine months, three competitions, plenty to prove, particularly at Worcester and for Sammy Tui Tupo. Under Mike Ruddock, a number of big name, big money signings from Down Under have arrived. New Zealand's Pocket Rocket is one of them. The hope is that their influence will improve performance. What was that like, Sammy? Was that fairly hardcore? Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, you know, at the moment we've uh, gone through all the uh, physical stuff in there and now just sort of just sort of fine-tuning uh, all our plays in it, so uh, it's coming along quite well. Sammy's played nine times for the All Blacks and wants more, but he's given it up for now and instead travelled to a country he's never been to before and to a club he barely knew and taken his family with him. For me and my wife, it was about spending more time, me spending more time with them and the kids, with her and the kids. Obviously, being back home in New Zealand, you're always away of rugby. You could be up to, away for about five, six weeks, especially with the Super 14. And, um, and we just felt it would be a good time to sort of move away and um, spend more time with the kids. Settling down, though, has taken time. They've still got no furniture in their new home, and finding schools for the kids hasn't been easy. But for Sammy's wife, Ness, things are improving. Yeah, it was hard. It was very hard, <laughs> especially for me because, you know, knowing that I'm staying here, it's, I've never been this far. I've never been out this far before. The accent sometimes gets me, <laughs> yeah, but no, it's good. Why the accent? Oh, it's just different, like, or I can't understand them when they're talking to me. Sammy isn't the first and won't be the last to up sticks and move hemispheres. But as long as his family's happy, he's happy.